हेलो दिस इज टाइम स्पीड एंड डिस्टेंस लेसन 5.1 इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चंस ऑन बोट्स एंड स्ट्रेन नो दिस क्वेश्चन आर बेस्ड ऑन द सेम कांसेप्ट्स दैट आई डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस लेसन 5 नाउ फॉर बेटर लर्निंग यू शुड पॉज द वीडियो ट्राई टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन योरसेल्फ देन लुक एट द सॉल्यूशन एंड दिस इज यू हैव टू इंप्लीमेंट दिस फॉर ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन इन दिस स्लाइड नाउ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई एम सॉल्विंग ए बोट कवर 75 किलोमीटर अपस्ट्रीम and returns to its starting point it cover upstream journey in 10 hours more than the downstream journey definitely upstream time will be more the speed of the boat in still water is four times the speed of the stream so find the speed of the stream let's say speed of the stream is y kilometer per hour what about speed of boat It is four times the speed of stream. That is four y kilometer per hour. The boat is covering seventy five kilometer upstream. So time upstream, this is given to you. Time upstream minus time downstream. This time is difference is ten hours. This is given to you. Now time upstream is distance upon speed. You are covering seventy five kilometer. What is the upstream speed? Speed of boat minus speed of stream. That is four y minus y. This will be three y. Time downstream. You are covering distance seventy five kilometer with a speed four y plus y five y. This is equals to ten. Now you get three twenty five by y minus fifteen by y is equals to ten. Y will be common. You will get ten by y is equals to 10 so y is equals to 1 km per hour so easiest way you can find this answer it won't take more than 30 40 second to solve this second question is a man can row 15 km upstream and 33 km downstream in total of 8 hours also the same person can row 18 km upstream and 44 km downstream in total of 10 hours we need to find the speed of the man in still water let's say speed of boat in which the man is rowing this is equal to let's say x km per hour speed of stream what we used to assume let's say is y km per hour now in the first case case number 1 upstream is doing 15 km so time would be how much 15 km doing upstream distance what will the upstream speed upstream speed would be x minus y plus downstream he is going 33 km downstream speed would be x plus y the total time time upstream this is time upstream plus time downstream this is equals to total of 8 hours same way you can make the case to 18 km upstream 18 upon x minus y upstream speed plus 44 upon x plus y. This time is how much? 10 hour. This is given to you. Now, most of the students can make this equation. This is not a difficult task. The difficult task or challenging task in such question is how you can simplify these two equation in least possible time and find the final answer. You must be able to solve or simplify these two equation in a faster manner. Now, what I will do? I will subtract this. Is, let's say equation number two. This is equation number one. I will subtract two minus one. Two minus one. What I will get? Eighteen upon x y x minus y. Fifteen upon x y. You get three upon x minus y. There is no single way to solve this equation. You can solve this these two equation in multiple way. I am solving it. Second minus one. Eighteen minus fifteen. Three upon this is eleven upon x plus y. The difference would be two. This is let's say equation number three. now what we can do you can take 3 and 1 this is equation number 1 this is equation number 3 if you multiply multiply the third equation with 5 and subtract from the first so first equation minus 3 times third equation what you will get first equation is 15 upon x minus y here if you multiply this equation if you multiply this equation i'm just making a different color if you multiply this equation 
with you need to multiply this by 5 sorry not 3 this is 5 times first minus 5 times the third equation if you multiply this equation by 5 and then subtract first minus 5 times the third equation so 15 upon x minus y and 15 upon x minus y will get cancelled out no need to take the LCM you can straight away subtract 15 upon x minus y divided by 15 upon x minus y this will cancel out you will left with 33 upon x plus y minus 55 upon x plus y 33 upon x plus y upon 55 upon x plus y because 11 into 5 will 55 this will be 8 minus 10 that is minus 2 so we will get 22 minus 22 upon x plus y would be minus 2 minus minus cancelled you will get x plus y as 11 we will get x plus y as 11 put the value of x plus y in this equation in this equation put the value of x plus y what you will get 3 upon x plus 3 upon x minus y plus 11 upon x plus y value is 11 11 by 11 it will be 1 1 is equal to 2 so 3 upon x minus y is equal to 1 so x minus y will be equal to 3 now you got two equation x plus y is 11 x minus y is 3 adding this you will get 2x is equal to 14 x is equal to 7 kilometer per hour and that is the speed of the boat now in this question the only challenging task was to simplify the equation so i have simplified in a sim simple manner and that is what you need to learn you can simplify this equation and you can solve this question in 40 50 seconds again i want to emphasize here is that there is no single way to solve these two equation you can solve in a different way than i have solved but the objective is that we must be able to solve in solve in least possible time Third question is Rohan took 10 hours to cover a round trip between two points on a river 36 km apart, apart. It means that he is going upstream 36 km and coming back downstream 36 km. Second statement says that if the speed of the stream is tripled, he would take 15 hours rather than 10 hours to cover the same round trip. Find the time taken by a log to float down the this distance. Now time taken by log to float the distance of 36 km log will float according to the speed of stream so in this question the first task is to find the speed of stream let's say in the case one the speed of stream is y km per hour and speed of boat as we used to assume is that x km per hour now first case say that took 10 hours upstream so time upstream in the first case plus time downstream is total is 10 hours case number one time upstream is going 36 kilometer distance with a speed x minus y 36 distance upon speed x plus y this is 10 hours this is the equation number one second case is that if the speed of the stream is tripled so time upstream and time downstream now would be how much this would be 15 hours here it was 10 hours now time upstream is again 36 km you are going now sp speed will be x minus 3y as the speed of the stream is tripled stream tripled means its speed of stream is now 3y so 36 upon x minus 3y 36 upon downstream would be x plus 3y this time is 15 hours this is equation number 2 now as i subtracted straight away in the previous question i can't do like this because the bases are different x minus y x minus 3y x plus y x plus 3y now what to do you should simply take the lcm and solve it faster way the only challenging challenge in such question is to how you can solve these two equations in a faster manner so i'm solving the first one if you take lcm lcm would be the first question lcm would be first equation x square minus y square you would get 36 into x plus y plus 36 into x minus y you may not need to write this much in exam i am just writing now to explain you this will equals to 10 now solving it further you will get 72x is equals to 10 times x square minus y square now important thing here is that if i will solve this in exam i will only write this equation first i won't write this 
I won't write this, won't write this. I will straight away write this equation. And that is what you need to learn how to solve in a faster manner. So 72x, 36y, 36y will cancel out. 72x is equal to 10 times x square minus y square. Same way, in this case, you will get 36x plus 3y plus 36 into x minus 3y. Your LCM would be x square minus 3y square. Why so? Because x plus 3y into x minus 3y, a plus b into a minus b, you will get a square minus b square. This is equal to, that was equal to 15. So solving this, you will get Again, 72x is equal to 15 times x square, not 3y square, so this is 9y square. x square minus 9y square. 9y square. Now, left hand side of both the equation is same. You can put the right side, left left is equal, so right right will also equal. So, 10 times x square minus y square is equal to 15 times x square minus y square. 5 2s are 5 3s are, so you get 3, 2x square minus 2y square is equal to 3x square minus 3y square so you will get x square is equal to 5y square and x is equal to 5y x will be equal to 5y now once you got x is equal to 5y your question is solved uh, put the value of x is equal to 5y in any other equation easier to put in the first so i'm putting x is equal to 5y in this first equation here i'm solving I am putting x is equal to 5y in the first equation and let's see what will happen this become 36 upon 5y minus y 4y 36 upon 6y is equal to 10 so this becomes 9 by y plus 6 by y is equal to 10 so 15 by y is equal to 10 so you will get y is equal to 15 by y is equal to 1.5 kilometer per hour. So speed of the stream is 1.5 kilometer per hour. The question was that find the time taken by log to flow this distance. So time by log, here I am solving time by log. Time is distance upon speed. Log will travel distance of 36 kilometer with the speed of the log would be how much speed of the stream. So 36 upon 1.5 your answer will be 24 km per hour. That is choice number 2. Now this kind of question we can also solve around a minute. Only thing that we must be able to solve or simplify these two equations in a faster manner. Fourth question is a boat started traveling downstream from a point A on the river after it had traveled 24 km. A log started floating from A. Let's, let me make the downstream. You, Whenever you need to make downstream, you can make the diagram like this. It will be very convenient to understand that this is downstream. The stream is flowing from, from point A. A is the direction of stream. You can easily downwards. The boat started from point A. The question says that this is point A. Traveled 24 km. Let's say boat reached this point B. This distance is 24 km. Now the question says that when boat reached point B, here the boat is moving like this. This is boat. Log started at the same time. Log, a piece of wood will float with the speed of stream, whatever with the speed of stream. Now what the question says that further, a boat traveled for four more hours in the same direction, that is downstream as boat was initially traveling downstream so boat will travel for four more hours there i'm making boat will travel from here to here downstream four more hours four hours the boat will travel from here to here let's this point is c then turns around boat will turn around here the boat will turn around the here the boat was moving downstream this is downstream Turn around and meet the log at a point 24 km from A. And the boat will come now upstream and here the meeting took place. And meet the log at a 24 km from A. This is this B point 24 km from A. Now here is the upstream. The boat is moving upstream. 
this is the diagram that will done now here the log covered this distance log distance is this this is a distance log covered 24 km as boat goes from b to c and came back from c to b in the same time the log covered 24 km as this is what the question is saying now what to solve it further bc this is a distance this distance bc is traveled by both boat in both upstream as well as downstream so distance is what distance is speed into time boat traveled downstream speed downstream sd time downstream boat traveled this bc distance upstream and time upstream tu now speed downstream would be how much here the question asks is that if the speed of the boat in still water is thrice the speed of the stream so you can assume that speed of stream s s as y km per hour so speed of boat s b would be 3 y km per hour so in the down downstream speed would be 3 y plus y that is 4 y km per hour in the upstream speed would be 3 by y minus y that is 2 y km per hour at boat is moving against the stream so speed downstream is 4 y km per hour time downstream is given to us boat traveled 4 hours from b to c speed upstream is 2y time upstream we will calculate this is 2 so time upstream would be 8 hours it means that boat took 8 hours to travel from c to b and boat took 4 hours from b to c so total time here this here to here b to c in 4 hours c to b in 8 hours so it means that boat took total of 12 hours from b to c and then came back from c to b in the same 12 hours log traveled from a to b as log started from point a when the boat was at b in time t in time 12 hours boat moved from b to c came back from c to b in the same time log traveled only 24 km that is a distance from a to b so it means that can i say that log took 20 12 hours to travel from a to b distance of how much 24 km what is the speed of the log the speed of log will be 24 km log traveled in 12 hours so speed of log will be 2 km per hour then speed of log we know that log will float with the speed of stream so speed of stream will also 2 km per hour what we need to calculate we need to calculate the speed of the boat in still water that is 3y so y is 23y would be 6 km per hour answer choice will be third now you can see that this question may seems difficult if we won't make a diagram once you make a diagram this question is very easy and can be solved in 30 40 seconds in exam i have taken so much time because i have explained you in exam i will simply take that four out downstream i will make this equation only i will make this equation only and find the answer in exam so that was all about lesson 5.1 i hope you learned a lot from this lesson thank you